Hello, first graders! Welcome to Tuesday, or day two of our distance learning journey. I decided to wear my beautiful big bow today because I wanted a new hairstyle. Maybe you can dress up your hair today so you'll be looking unique as you go through your studying. Anyway, it was great seeing you guys yesterday and hearing from you about your Easter break and uh, what you were doing during that time. It was also great seeing some of your work already posted on our Edmodo page. Overall, I think it was a very successful day. Congratulations, guys. So, over here behind me, okay, you can see that, is the distance learning pack that I was telling you about. Okay, this has everything that you will need to um, have fun and learn for term three. I posted everything on the wall because I wanted to make sure that I'll keep it safe and always remember where it is. And if I need it, I can just look back, do my studying, and then continue. Okay, so here is the first page. Oh, that one is the distance learning packet. Okay, the next one is the grade one weekly timetable. It has the time from 8.30 all the way to 1 o'clock. But just like what uh, you asked yesterday in our morning meeting, you don't really have to follow the time strictly. You can choose to take an early break or start earlier than that or start later depending on the best time when you can have help from your mom and dad. Or just work on your own so it's also your decision to make but what's important is for you to finish your work for the whole week so that you can give it to me and submit it to me on our Edmodo page okay next page here this one is our forecast it has the list of everything that we're gonna cover for this term and uh, it should guide us until five weeks okay that we are doing distance learning okay next the reading record menu these are the list of questions that you have or you can answer to do your reading record the language bingo the multiplication tic-tac-toe the 3d shapes tic-tac-toe and the word lists that i made for your rhyming words and um contractions okay so I want you to proceed by watching this story. Um, this is me reading a story about the missing chimp from our floppy phonics book series. After this, after listening to me read a story, you can write your reading record, choose your story from here, the reading record menu, and then write it on your notebook. If you need more space, you can use any paper or any worksheets that you have. But just make sure you collect them so that when we go back to school, you can give it to me. So I'll see what you did for your reading record. All okay. right. Hello again, grade one. Today, I want to read the story about the lost chimp. This one. It's still from our floppy phonics book. And this is created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brickta. The Lost Chimp Kipper had a lot of soft toys, animals, who kept them on a shelf in his room. One night, he put them all in his bed. There's no room for you, said Chip. I will just fit in, said Kipper. With all the animals next to you, it will be hard to get to sleep, said Mom. But I will, he said. The animals took up a lot of room, but Kipper fell asleep. Come and meet my gang, said little Ted. This is Amanda the panda and Casper the camel, said Ted. How do you do? Linda and Imp. And this is Matilda the mink, Fred the frog, and Thelma the owl, said Ted. 
Let's go to the big oak tree and have a picnic, said Amanda. What fun, said Kipper. We can have a sandwich, said Thelma. And I will have some toast and milk, said Casper. Look, said Ted, there is the tree. Just then, Linda the chimp ran up. Little imp is lost, she said. Will you help me? Yes, we will. Hmm, this was Linda looking for little imp. Kipper and the animals went to help. Linda looked for imp, the chimp. We will hunt for imp, said Kipper. I will jump down the bank, said Fred. It's damp. Mm, Fred the frog enjoyed it. I will look in the sandpit, said Casper. I must lift up the lid. Casper the camel, searching in the sandpit. We will look in the wood, said Kipper. And there he goes, looking for the imp, little imp. There you are, imp, said Kipper. Not next to Sheena the shark. And they are back in the room. Hmm. Yes, that's true. It's all a dream. I hope you enjoyed our story. The end. Then on language. For this week, I want you to work on rhyming words. That is the first thing on your list for on your bingo okay the rhyming words is the first you can choose any of the five activities about rhyming words there and just choose one and if it's a uh, writing or drawing or uh, listing activity post it on our Edmodo page so everybody knows what you've done for the day next do your unit of inquiry task that's the worksheets that you have and if you did your scavenger hunt yesterday, you can dig deeper into solids today. But if you did not do it yet, then do your scavenger hunt today. And then do the next one for the next day. Just keep your brains and your minds thinking and inquiring about science. If you have any questions, any big questions at all, write them down. And next time we see each other on Zoom, we can talk about them. Okay, I want to hear your questions next time we talk. Then, well, you can take a break if you wish or just move on to your math because the math, this time I want you to choose from your math tic-tac-toe. There are two, two tic-tac-toes, one and two. One is all about multiplication. The other one is all about 3D shapes. I want you to start on 3D shapes this week, but uh, because uh, that's the one that uh, I wanted you to do. But if you've already chosen some multiplication, it's okay. Just go back and forth if you need to. But try to do 3D shapes this week. Take photos of yourself doing your work and post them on Edmodo again. Don't forget, that's very important. Okay? And since today is Tuesday, if you go to your timetable, you will see that your schedule is about ICT or IT. So you can do your IT task that Mr. Raphael has already posted on our Edmodo page. And then he just actually wants you to practice your keyboard or typing skills. So go to Edmodo and, and get the instructions from Mr. Raphael so that you know what to do for IT. That's it. That's the rest of your day. Your second day as a distance learner is officially done. If you've done everything there that I said, you're finished. And then just don't forget to take lots of photos and share it with me. Ask help from your mom and dad. 
And if any time of the day you have a question, like something that you need help with, something that you cannot solve on your own, if your mom and your dad are not around to answer you, you can send me a message, a voice message on WhatsApp, and I will answer you as soon as I can. Okay? Have a nice day, everybody, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>